Today, we are going to redraft the top 10 picks of the 2017 NBA entry draft. We're not going to reshuffle the top 10. If we were to redraft, we were going to pick who would be in that top 10. And pretty much everybody on this list goes a lot higher than they actually went. So let's see where they all end up. Made a nice little presentation for you guys. Uh, the text kind of looks weird because it's only on Canva, but some uh, familiar faces here for sure. But uh, where do players like OG and Anobi end up for this one? So for starters, this was where everybody ended up in the lottery. And uh, this, was a, this was a pretty loaded draft class, I gotta say. Um, not a lot of the loaded players went very high in the draft. Obviously, very infamously, Markel Fultz went first overall. And then subsequently, subsequently forgot how to shoot the basketball. I don't really understand how that happened. Like he just straight up forgot how to shoot the basketball. His jump shot broke. How does that even happen? How does that even happen? But yeah, some some weird picks in here. But what a horrible pick number four. But let's see who ends up at 10 on my list. So this is subjective. This is my opinion. This is where if I was drafting, I would put them in these positions. I don't care about fit. I'm not worried about fit. I'm just worried about the top 10 most talented players, subjectively. Number 10 on the list, Kyle Kuzma. Now this, as much as he gets clowned on, Kyle Kuzma is coming off of a good season, like very good season with the Washington Wizards. He gets held to such a high standard for somebody who was drafted 27th overall. What a pick by the Lakers. And I, and I think the reason is he was getting like, comparisons to Jason Tatum uh, early on in his rookie season and in Summer League. He won Summer League MVP. I was co-MVP, if I'm not mistaken, Summer League. Or he just straight out won MVP in Summer League. Anyways, something like that. He gets clowned on. I guess he brings a lot of it on himself for the way he kind of conducts himself. But for 27th overall pick, what a great selection. And the Lakers this season were missing a player just like him. Just like him. They could have used a player just like him to help get them into the playoffs, which they uh, ultimately didn't end up doing. Good player. Number 10 on the list. Number 9 on the list, Larry Markkinen. One of the very few players on this list who is going to be lower than they were actually drafted. Larry Markkinen's a good player. Um, honestly, like, based on where he was drafted, uh, I mean, he's a good player. From a scoring standpoint, I think you would have expected him to put on a little bit more than like 13, 14 points per game. I think you would have wanted him to get up to like 16 a game, but he's not far off that mark. He is a good player. Uh, helps make that Cleveland Cavaliers team better. I, I don't know how they make all these big men work together. They've got Allen. They've got Mobley now. They've got him, but the they, they seem to do well this season. They're a team for the future, and I think Markkinen is going to be a part of that future. Um, it's a lot more common now for players of his size to shoot but when he came into the league even in 2017 it was like wow this guy's like seven feet tall shooting three ball really really well super interesting player should put on a bit of muscle though to get to the next level next one eighth is alonzo ball and he went second overall to the lakers man oh man would the lakers want that pick back shout out lavar ball for producing so much outrageously good Ball family propaganda to get hit to get this guy drafted second overall. Like he's a good player, but second overall ahead of some of the other guys who are going to be on this list. A little bit crazy. Lonzo's a great player though. He's a good player. He's never going to be an all-star though. But uh, great playmaker, very good defender, and has done just a phenomenal job in fixing his three-point game. One of the deadliest catch and shoot threats. Maybe not that high, but. A deadly catch and shoot threat very good three-point threat very good playmaker like he is pretty much exactly what you want in a point guard pretty much exactly what you want in a point guard if you have stars around him can't be that focal point but man does he make those other guys a lot better by being on the court great player not a second overall pick though for this draft next up on the list is Jarrett Allen he actually went 22nd overall coming off of an all-star season which he did not deserve over this guy 
right here, but he made it. Regardless, uh, elite shot blocker, elite rim, elite rim protector, like elite defender. I still do not understand. I know they had to trade guys to get James Harden to come to Brooklyn, but I still do not understand why Jared Allen was passed on in that trade. He should have been a guy that they did a lot to try to keep a hand on, like to keep. What a steal. Yeah, what a steal for the Cavs to get. I'm pretty sure Jared Allen also went through Houston in this deal, if I'm not mistaken. How the hell he slipped through the hands of Brooklyn and possibly Houston as well doesn't make any sense to me really making his offensive game better to go along with the great defense that he has a super fun player super talented player number seven in the redraft number six John Collins very very promising in his like I think like his third and fourth season and you know since then there's been kind of disputes over his contract and there's been Trey Young coming in and taking away a lot of his touches. But now he's like, you know, a 13, 14 point per game player, but still a bunch of offensive talent. Um, I, he's going to stay in Atlanta. It seems like he, he, there's talks of him getting traded. I'd love to see John Collins get an opportunity where he's more of a focal point of, of an offensive team. I actually think there's still some all star potential. I actually still think this is a guy who could sneak into one all star team at some point in his career. He's got the talent there. I'm just wondering what he can be if he gets more of those touches. If he got more of those touches, he may be higher on this list. But nonetheless, a 19th overall pick. Redrafts for me at six, maybe higher for some people. That's pretty damn good. Next one on the list, guys, it's OG and Anobi. And you will let's let's not get upset, okay? OG Anobi is a great player. He got drafted 23rd, an absolute steal for the Raptors. Um, he's, you know, I think Prime OG is like gonna be one of the best defensive players in the league because he already is. Hey, he should be, he should have already been in an all defense team. He better get in one at some point in his career. This is a guy who is a dialed in three point shooter. Very good player on the inside, showing signs of developing a mid range game. Like th this is the style of player that championship teams want to have on their team. This is the style of player that you want to have 100%. Prime, I think he can put above 20 points per game. Uh, honestly, he is a, is a great player. I'm excited to see him get more touches this season. And I'm very happy to have him on, on the Raptors right now. Obviously, we love OG. We love OG. Last offseason, we we're talking about this guy being untouchable. Maybe that's not quite the case anymore, but still, such an important player to this team, uh, especially when he's fully healthy. Number four on this list, De'Aaron Fox, one spot above his actual position of five. Uh, De'Aaron Fox, I've been waiting for him to make that superstar leap instead of just this star, this fringe all-star player that he is, and he still currently is. Been waiting for that superstar leap, and he kind of regressed last season, but he's still, for me, above OG and Nobi. He is a fantastic player. I think if he was playing in a better market than Sacramento, a lot more people would really recognize that because he is such a talented ball handler. Um, could work with his three-point game, but very good at creating offense for himself and for others. Could work on his defense as well, but uh, I think this is somebody who still has superstar potential if he can just find that drive to get to the next level. But again, he's in like literally the worst spot for development in Sacramento. So uh, we'll see if he can actually get to that spot. But number four, good pick here by Sacramento. A rare W in the draft for Sacramento, in my opinion. Next one up is Bam Adebayo, number three. I kind of clowned on him on an amateur TV video recently, but this is a guy who almost won DPOY a couple seasons ago. This is... Uh, gonna be a perennial all defense type of guy such 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 a good defender so good defensively can guard so many different positions can guard the biggest guy on the floor can guard smaller guys as well offensively there is a little bit to his game in the playoffs this most recent season we really didn't see that he was not aggressive it was kind of hilarious how bad he was offensively in some of those games for the miami heat but um i think it's fair to have him third on this list all-star not a ton of guys on this list are all-stars he is one of those players who is an all-star or has been an all-star and um uh, after getting drafted 14th great work by the miami heat who develop in, into the player that he is today number two on this list is donovan mitchell excellent selection by the utah jazz at 13th overall i believe he went lower than he was supposed to go because his school louisville 
was barred from playing in the NCAA tournament March Madness as a result of paying their players, getting caught paying their players en route to winning a NCAA championship in the early 2010s. And they kind of, I, I believe that's what happened. And nonetheless, NCAA found out and they're barred from playing the tournament. That ruined his draft stock. But Utah did great to pick him up at 13, develop him into the star that he is today. They are going to move him on very soon to the New York Knicks for a boatload of picks. Um, the only thing about Donovan Mitchell is he somebody who can be that number one guy on a championship team. I don't think he can be, but still a great player. And we've seen him in the playoffs produce some absolutely outrageous stat lines. But the last player on this list, I don't enjoy doing this, but the number one guy is Jason Tatum. He's actually drafted third overall. And oh my goodness, do the Lakers wish they could have this one back and draft him second overall instead of Lonzo Ball. Jason Tatum's a great player. Pretty much a superstar at this point. Hilariously underperformed in the NBA Finals in the most recent season, but... Uh, still the best player to come out of this draft class. Boston's done a great job developing him. He's done a great job developing himself. From coming into the league as somebody who I felt was a real liability offensively because of his shot selection, because of the way he played. And since that point, since his first couple of seasons where he was doing that, he has absolutely cleaned up his game. He's a lot smarter with the ball. He takes less isolation mid-range jumpers. He's more focused on creating offense for himself on the outside from three-point land and from the rim. Good defender, good at getting his teammates involved. I mean, just got to NBA Finals where, again, he was poor, but obviously borderline superstar in my opinion. And one question about him would be, is he... Does he have that dog in him? The going gets tough. In those biggest games, biggest moments, Emmy Finals. Does he is is he that guy? This year was not the case. I mean, he was brutal. Brutal in some of those NBA Finals games. But a young player, we can uh, we'll see if he bounces back, but that is it. That is my redraft of the 2017 NBA entry class. Uh did you guys agree with my list? Did you disagree with my list? What would you change? What would you add? Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. And uh, see you again next time for another clip on Amateur Clips.